beauties and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe right now and share this video with any friends who love Tim Burton and are looking for some Halloween ideas. Tim Burton's style is very unique and recognizable, which makes all of his movies so much fun to watch and something extremely memorable. He's known for his dark, gothic, and quirky fantasy films, my favorites being Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, The Corpse Bride, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and of course, Big Fish. There's something really amazing and magical about these movies, and the characters are so different yet they have so much in common with each other. All their extraordinary adventures, and also how vividly their eyes really speak to you and tell you their story. Today's fun and quirky Halloween look is inspired by Emily from The Corpse Bride, and if you would like to get my Corpse Bride look that I created, then please keep on watching. To start out this look, you're going to want to paint your entire face and body in a light shade of blue. I started to paint my face with Mayron's water activated paint using a light amount of water just to create a very opaque and even consistency. I went back in about three times to get even coverage and because this is a water activated paint it's safe to use around your eyes so be sure to cover your eyelids or any skin that will be showing. Using a sponge will also help blend and blur away any lines that you may have. If you plan on wearing a dress, cover any areas of skin that will be showing. Getting someone to paint your back will make everything a whole lot easier and thanks to my mom I had a whole lot of help. Remember to leave your left arm blank because we will be turning that arm into bones in a little bit. For brows, Emily has one brow longer than the other and she has a very sad and worried look on her face so I use this photo as a reference. Elongating the brows and curving the front of the brow up will give you the same exact look and I use a black body paint by Mayron to fill in the brows. You can also go back in with the light blue you used to coat your face and body to clean up any of the black that might have gotten onto your skin. The eyes are pretty simple, first take a dark blue shadow and apply this directly to your lid, packing it on heavily and lightly blending up into the crease. Because our skin is already blue, the dark blue will fade into the skin creating a natural transition. I also took some more of the dark blue shade from the Morphe 35S palette and packed on more heavily onto that lid and blend it out using a fluffy brush. Taking a white shimmer shadow from the Morphe 35E palette, I'm going to blend this into the brow bone. This adds a beautiful sheen but also lifts the eyes up. I'm also going to take the shade and add this into the inner corner of the eye. To create rounder eyes, I'm also going to apply that white shimmer to the center of the lid for a halo eye effect. Taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I'm going to apply this into the waterline and below to enlarge the whites of my eyes and give me the appearance of the classic Tim Burton style eyes that most of the characters have. I'm going to take a light blue shade from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and start to create the lower lash line by smoking out this color right up against that white. Next, I'm going to take the dark blue on a thin flat brush and start lining the waterline we created. Pack this color on heavily, bringing it very close to the white for a dramatic contrast. Taking a bit of the black body paint, I'm going to start drawing in the prominent lower lashes that Emily has. They wisp to the sides of her eyes, so I'm going to lightly draw them in sporadically. I use this picture as a reference when drawing them. I wanted to hollow out my eyes to look very dead, so I took the dark blue and packed this color right underneath the front of my brow and feathered this down. Next I'm going to apply some mascara and false lashes and these are the Flutter Lashes in Crazed and I placed them halfway onto my lash line and let the excess lash connect to the lower lash line that we created. This will make your eyes look huge and a lot more doll-like. And this is the final eye look. Emily has a very thin face so we're going to contour to make ourselves look more dead. So taking the dark blue shade I used on my eyes, I'm going to start contouring my cheeks by bringing this color down into the jawline area. I also took some of the dark blue and thinned out my nose as well because if you look at some photos of Emily, her nose is very, very thin. So I'm going to thin mine out as well. I highlighted the face using MAC Shivering White Face Powder. This is just a matte white. And I dusted this onto the cheekbones, the chin area, and the forehead for a shimmery highlight. I used the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Ice Cold because this is the lightest highlighter I own. And it has a very beautiful icy glow to it that looks very nice against this blue base we have going on. For lips, Emily wears a pink color. I am using the Ofer Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Hollywood, which is about a medium toned, beautiful pink shade and looks a lot like what she is wearing in this movie. 
Her chest is only contoured right at the collarbone, so I'm gonna lightly contour that area using the dark blue shade we used on her face. I also applied this to the outside of my neck area to make myself appear thinner and more dead. This also gives a nice halo of blue around your body, which is really beautiful if you plan on going out for Halloween. Using the Mayron Paradise Paint in Black, I'm going to fill in my nostrils with this and create a triangular shape. Emily has very interesting nostrils that are actually shaped like triangles, so I'm just going to do the same with my nose using a black paint. One of Emily's arms is just a skeleton arm, so I'm going to draw out a skeleton shape for the arm. Of course, this isn't going to be super intricate, so I made it pretty easy by making a prominent bone shape and leaving the forearm area just two bones jointed together. I filled in the bone with a white paradise paint. I shaded the bone with a black eyeshadow for a 3D effect, and I dragged the shadow down the bone slightly with a fluffy brush. Remember to fill in the remaining area of your arm with a black water activated paint, and do the same technique that you did to your arm to your hand. Emily also has a missing area of her face, so I'm creating a black hole with some body paint, and just filling that in with the black to create that missing piece that she doesn't have on the side of her cheek. So I popped in some really fun contacts that look a lot like Emily's eyes. Her eyes are white with just a little dot in the center. And then for lips, I just wanted more of a pink color so I mixed the color Saint Tropez by Ofra Cosmetics into the lip color that I already had on to make it look more pink. For the wig, her hair is blue so I'm just popping on a blue wig and combing to match the style of her hair. This wig is so beautiful and perfect for the character. I next added in the veil that I stained with a blue fabric paint to make it look like dead flowers and I just pinned that right on. Her hair is very long and it frames her face so I played around until I decided to tuck some of the hair behind my ears so it would sweep around and frame my face just like hers. And next I sprayed down the wig with some Bellamy hairspray and the look was finished. So this is my final Corpse Bride makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween makeup tutorial, and if you did, be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with any friends that are looking for some Halloween ideas. I've got a few more looks on the way that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching today, and I will see you all in my next tutorial.